Hello, hello friends, Zebra here. Welcome back to another opening. We got a Pika Rom tin and a Pika Chew Dice tin is what I'm calling them now. They're called mini tins, but it's the mini canto mini tins, but I'm calling them mini dice tin because that's what I do with it. I put dice in it and we're going to get started in just one moment. All right, guys. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and start some music. There we go. We're gonna pop into these, this tin, and this tin, and see what we get inside. It's pretty exciting. These tins are kind of nice. Um, I already have the Bulbasaur one from the Celebi Venusaur opening, filled with dice, and uh, it, it works out pretty well. I haven't gone to any events with it yet, but as you can see, it holds plenty of goodies in here. So, I am a fan of these little tins. I've always been looking for a way to carry my dice around a little easier, and this is really proving to be a good way. And oh wow, look at this. This one gives gave us an actual Raichu coin. So that's good shout out to the Raichu that's gonna be coming up. Um, I think it's in Unbroken Bonds. I could be wrong though. So, as you can see, Pikachu is number 25. It is a mouse Pokemon. It has a height of one foot four inches. I think that's how you read that. 13 pounds. Whenever Pikachu comes across something new, it blasts it with a jolt of electricity. If you come across a blackened berry, it's evidence that a Pikachu or a Pokemon mistook it for... What? It's evidence that this Pokemon mistook the intensity of its charge. You can collect all five art cards and combine them into one big picture. That's talking about this. That's talking about the back of this. So I have the Bulbasaur, I have the Pikachu, and I wonder what's next. I should probably go with Eevee Snorlax and Eevee. So we'll see if we can complete the picture. I don't know if I'll do all five of them, but definitely starting with uh, these two, possibly three. I'll just stick that, and eh, I'll stick it down here for now. I'm like, where's the, where's the best spot? Probably right here next to my picture. There we go. So these two things, they do, they do come with two packs usually a burning shadows and a phase collide i mean one standard one expanded but they're not not bad not the best of packs but at least it's not what i moved the trash can at least it's not what's going to probably come in this uh so we'll throw it on the right you coin right there you can kind of see it we'll bust into phase collide first wow that that kind of that kind of worked a little all over the place so you guys go have a code. Have a Fates Collide code. There you guys go. And the pack trick for these is one, two, three, and two. We're gonna start things off with Snubble, one of my favorite cards, because Snubble is causing a ruckus. Love it, love it a lot. So this looks okay, yeah. We got Fennekin running with that Chikorita. Chikorita made it through the wormhole to get over to the Fennekin. We got Jump Pluff hanging out with Snivy though. Snivy by himself. A Deerling is finding some friends. Zygarde is a lookout for you making sure that nobody comes and barks at your door. Whimsicott and Alakazam Spirit Link. Looks like we got a Reverse Bronzor and our rare in the pack is an Exploud. Has that Cacophony? I don't even know how to say that. I don't know how to say that bottom attack there. Cacophony? I don't think anyone's ever used that. So interesting, interesting. An uncommon and a regular rare. And we'll probably move these guys straight into bulk, which I have just over there. We're trying to gather 3,000 bulk here uh, so that we can get a hold of a booster box. And uh, you know what, I'll go ahead and give you guys the Burning Shadows as well. Hopefully nothing's spoiled, but you can't expect too much out of these little tins. There's not much in them to begin with. We'll throw those over there. Do the pack trick. And a uh, Cutie Fly. Starting things off with a Cutie Fly with the Fairy Wind. Dew Pider is causing an ambush. Is there a way I can back off a little bit here? Yeah, Toka Tomorrow has that roll out. Wimpot is a wimping out, does not like people. 
Meowth with the fake out. A lot of outs here. Out, out, out. Roll out. Win bout. Fake out. Reverse is a... Uh, I did it wrong. You know what? I did it wrong. Because there's an energy in here. Um, I did it wrong. Um, there's the energy. So we're going to... There we go. I think that I did it right there. A Simi Pork with the Aqua Reflect. Rotom Dex. Heracross with the Guts is our rare. And our reverse is a Alolan Rotata. Electabuzz. Yeah, I did it wrong. So Heracross is our rare. Again, an uncommon and a regular rare. And a lot of these cards we're probably not going to use. Wimp Out's pretty good. But other than that, we already have all those. Let's bust into the big boy himself. We do not need energies around here either. I thought I had a spot for him. There they are. We'll put these down here. Where you can't see them. It's the glare. The bottom of the screen. There we go. So I want to bust into this Pikachu tin. So these decks are actually pretty good. I have got to try out the, um, the Celebi Venusaur one. And so I'm very excited to see what they give you for this one with the code. Um, bus is open. They got these really cool ways of uh, doing this now where, you know, this comes out in one big block. And you have all that space in the tin. We'll just stick it there for now. Hopefully it doesn't block anything. But we have the uh, big boy himself, the... Pikachu Zekrom here. Um, these tins might actually be able to be displayed in though. Are you afraid of the dark? Ah. So there we go. We got the Pikachu Zekrom GX with the full blitz and tag bolt. And this artwork is probably the most beautiful artwork for this card. And I guess the way they're they're doing these now is actually really good. So these are expensive tins. But they do give quality stuff with it. Let's go ahead and sleeve this up though. Yeah, I think that's a perfect fit. That's why we want that in anyways. There we go. So we get two team up packs. Forbidden Light and an Evolutions. Old school Evolutions. And this guy is metal. This guy is metal, which is pretty cool. Gives you a little bit of quality with these. A little bit better than a hotel key if you know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead. We'll end with those guys. And we'll start with the water boys of Evolutions and Forbidden Light. I'll probably give you guys the Forbidden Light code. Because I don't think anybody wants a Evolutions code. There we go. We're going to start things off with the Nidoran. This one is the male. Ponyta has that smashing kick. A do duo with the Fury attack. The fat Pikachu. Thunder Jolt looks a little weird if you stick him on uh, top of Zekrom though. Star you with the quick blow. A revive. Here comes Team Rocket. Now that's a secret rare if you guys can see. Down at the bottom. It is a secret rare. An uncommon secret rare. Each player turns all of his prizes face up. I might actually play that if that was in standard because the better version of it disappeared. We got Vulpix Reverse. If it, if it focuses. If it focuses. I'll give it a minute to focus on the shiny Vulpix. And a Dugong. Gong, gong. I think Dugong is the one I got from the other one as well. Other evolutions that I opened up. That's a little unfortunate. Those Dugongs though. They do and gone. So here you guys go is a forbidden light code. Looks like my music just stopped working on me. There you guys go. Forbidden light code. Let me know what you get down in the comment section below. There we go. Energy is water. I didn't get to see it. Did you guys get to see it? Dark energy. So another one of those. We start things off with the Frubbles. Froki himself. I keep realizing I'm not throwing away the garbage on time. Clearly I'm out of practice on all of this. Then we start things off with a Flabebe. 
Gibble with the ascending. He is ascending to a Gabite. Clotra with the water gun. Noibat has the destructive sound, discarding those items. A Gale Shuriken Frogadier. In a Porter, get rid of those special energies. Gabite, we got those evolution lines in here. What is this? Torterra Reverse Rare. And our regular rare in the pack is a Lycan Rock with the Dangerous Rogue. I like that Lycan Rock. The reverse rare Torterra is very nice though. But that is crazy. We got Gabite, Frogadier, Gibble, and Froki all in that pack. All in that pack. Nice. Nice. Move these aside. We got two team up packs to go. We'll start things off with the Celebi Venusaur. That guy was nice to us last week. We'll see if they are again. If I can uh, get rid of the the wrapping, right? Alright, so pack trick. One, two, three. Energy. And two. Is that actually the rare is a little bit darker of a color than the rest? Ah, uh, grass. Wow, three darks in a row on the energies there. We're going to start things off with Bronzor. There we go. Has that evolutionary advantage. Dratini with the defensive scales. Tenta Cool has that wrap. That pokey wrap. Live Cold Ponitas. We got the Chemical Breath Grimer. Getting a little out of focus there. Tauros raging with his herd. I don't know if anyone's actually played that deck. Raging Herd Taurus. Where you're... You're attacking with Tauros and using Shrine to get damage on your Tauros. Reverse is a Dragonair. Pretty card. And our rare in the pack is a Lapras. This is a very good rare though. Hydro Pump does 30 times the amount of energy on it. Now it's only a one energy attack. But you can definitely put it up more. So we've gotten nothing so far. Nothing so far. This is our last pack. Last pack. And you got to start wondering if there's actually any magic in it. Because how is it that the last pack is the one that would have magic, right? Two, three. Energy. We're going to guess dark. And look, it's the first energy that's not dark. It's a psychic energy. But the rest of them were dark, which is craziness. We'll start things off with a Ponita. Live Colt and Stomp. A Tenta Cool. It's so cool with that background. Come on, focus on the background. There we go. Has that rap attack. Gonna make a pokey rap. A Lolling Grimer. Cosmog. <laughs> with the Cosmic Guard. It doesn't want to focus on me now. Let me back off a little bit. There we go. Litten has those fast claws. Spirit Tomb with the compressor. It's a battle compressor, but it's a Spirit Tomb. It doesn't like dark cards at all. I'll say that factually. Helios has that random spark. Jasmine, great for those metal types. And a reverse is an Articuno with the Blizzard Veil. That is a rare. And our rare in the pack is a Ferrothorn regular rare. So we did get two reverse rares. But that seems to be the best that we got today. Wow. Wow, you buy Pikaram 10 for Pikaram, guys. $25 for that Pikaram, and that's it. That's very unfortunate. I, I don't know how they expect people to keep buying 10s, because I'm pretty sure they have to weigh them to put them in. So now they're just putting them in randomly, which means you're, you're, you're out of luck if it's bad, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But we did get a secret rare. Here comes Team Rocket supporter. Uh, one of the uncommon secret rares, as you guys see. And we got Reverse reverse Hollow Articuno, which is nice. Torterra, which is uh, okay. We got a nice Lapras if we want to play Water Box. And we got our Pika Rom here. So, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Uh, been a little bit of an uneventful pull, but we will go ahead and get that code in to PTCGO and see what we get for the Pikachu Zekrom and uh, we'll go ahead and play some games with that. So see you guys on the next video which may be that one. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola and I hope to see you guys in another video soon. Bye bye.